Hello everyone, welcome to Must is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving problems involving time. Read and solve the problem. Carla started her asynchronous Moodle playlist at 8.40 a.m. She finished it at 10.25 a.m. How long did it take her to do her lesson? To answer this problem, we're going to use the four-step plan. First is we're going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. In this problem, it is asking for the number of minutes she took to do her lesson. Next is we're going to know what are the given facts. In this problem, the given facts are 8.40 a.m. and 10.25 a.m. After we understand the problem, the next step is we're going to formulate a plan. What strategy to be used to solve the problem? So, in this problem, we're going to subtract the time she finished by the time she started. And the number sentence is 10.25 minus 8.40 is equal to N. We have already a plan, so let's carry out the plan. We're going to solve the problem. 10.25 minus 8.40. In subtracting time, we're going to start from right to left. This part here is for the minutes and this part here is for the hours. The hours and minutes are separated by a colon. So, we're going to subtract from the minutes going to hours. 25 minus 40 cannot be. We're going to borrow 1 from 10. 10 becomes 9. And 25, it becomes 85. How it becomes 85? It is because we borrow 1 hour from 10. And that one hour, we're going to convert it into minutes. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, we have year 25. 25 plus 60 is equal to 85. Then, we can subtract. 85 minus 40 is equal to 45. And 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. Going back to our problem, how long in minutes... Did it take her to do her lesson? So, we're going to convert this into minutes. 1, that is equal to 1 hour or 60 minutes plus 45 minutes is equal to 105 minutes. Therefore, she took 105 minutes to do her lesson. We have already an answer to our problem. The last step is we're going to check or look back to know if our answer is correct or not. So, 8.40 a.m., this is the time that she started her lesson and it took 1 hour and 45 minutes to finish it. So, we're going to add 40 plus 45 is equal to 85, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, it becomes 9 and 85 minutes. 85 minutes is more than an hour, so we're going to regroup one hour here, and the remaining minutes is 25, and we're going to add 9. So, 1 and 25 plus 9 is equal to 10, 25. This is 10, 25 a.m. As we all know that, this is the time that she finished her lesson. So, 1 and 45 minutes is correct. Another problem, Alexa is going to visit her mother in Los Angeles, California. Her flight leaves Nino International Airport at 10 a.m. Tuesday and is scheduled to take 15 hours and 30 minutes connecting flight. What time and day should she tell her mother to pick her up? at Los Angeles Airport. Assuming she needs an extra half hour 
to the plane and pick up her bags. To answer this problem, first is we're going to understand what is asked. In this problem, it is asking for the time and day should she tell her mother to pick her up at Los Angeles Airport. What are the given facts? The given facts in this problem are 10 a.m. Tuesday, 15 hours and 30 minutes, and another half hour. So we understand already the problem. The next step is we're going to make a plan. What strategy do we use to solve the problem? So in this problem, we can use a number line. We have already a plan, so our next step is we're going to solve or carry out the plan. First is we're going to add 15 hours and 30 minutes connecting flight and another extra half hour to the plane and pick up her bags. So, all in all, she needs 16 hours. By using a number line, she leaves Nino International Airport at 10 a.m. Tuesday. So we're going to use a scaling of 2 hours. So 10 a.m. to 12 noon plus 2 hours is equal to 2 p.m. plus 2 hours is equal to 4 p.m. Another 2 hours is equal to 6 p.m. plus 2 hours is equal to 8 p.m. plus 2 hours is equal to 10 p.m. This is for 12 hours. So we have still 4 hours more to go. 10 p.m. plus 2 hours is equal to 12 midnight plus 2 hours is equal to 2 a.m. Wednesday. Therefore, she needs to tell her mother to pick her up at Los Angeles Airport at 2 a.m. Wednesday. The last step is we're going to chat. We're going to use other solution. So, she needs 16 hours. We're going to add 16 hours to 10 a.m. 10 plus 16 is equal to 26. Next is we're going to convert 26 to day and hours. 26 minus 24 because as we all know that, one day is equal to 24 hours. So 26 minus 24 is equal to 2. And how do we know that this is a.m. or p.m.? She leaves Nino International Airport at 10 a.m. Tuesday, so this is 2 a.m. Wednesday. Therefore, our answer is correct. I hope that you understand our lesson for today, and thank you for watching.